What's up guys, it's Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery, where we teach storm restoration salesmen and business owners the most effective techniques and approaches for lead generation, closing, and supplementing so that you can work smarter instead of harder to earn a high level of income and enjoy the type of lifestyle and freedom that you desire. You're here today because you know, you've either been selling roofs or chasing storms for a while now and you know you could be getting a lot better results for all the work you're putting in than what you've been getting on your own. Or, you know, maybe you're doing well selling roofs, but you're working yourself ragged and you need some simple tips to, you know, make your job easier and more effective so you don't feel so burned out. Maybe you're kicking ass and taking names, but you know that picking up even one or two new tricks can mean the difference of a couple hundred thousand dollars in this business. So you're looking to take your game to the next level. And then, you know, maybe you're a sales manager or you own your own company and uh, you just want to learn as much as possible to sharpen your own skills so that you can be a more effective leader and teacher in your organization. Whoever you are, you know, wherever you're at, ultimately it all comes down to one thing. You know, you want to maximize your income so that you can earn more money to enjoy more freedom. Because ultimately, isn't that why storm restoration contractors do what we do? I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that the majority of you, like me, aren't selling roofs because it's your number one biggest passion of all time. You know, you probably didn't spend your entire childhood thinking, oh, I just can't wait to grow up and go door to door selling hail damaged roofs, right? You know, you do it to pay the bills or provide for your family. And you know, it's a unique industry where if you know how to do it, you can earn that six figure income working only half the year. So you can check out for the other half of the year and do what you really want to be doing. Like golfing or hanging out with your kids or hunting or drinking, you know, whatever your real passion is. Not a lot of other job opportunities out there like that. You know, but everybody's different. For some of you guys, big fat commissions and a high annual income is the goal because you like buying Ford F1000s or gambling or partying, you know, whatever your vice is, you know, money allows you to do that. And uh, for some of you guys, you know, toys aren't really your big thing, but you love vacation and free time or, you know, you have a family. So earning a high level of income allows you to take more time off so that you can spend time, you know, binge watching Breaking Bad or spend more time with your family heading to the beach, you know, whatever it is that you like to do. So whatever situation you're in now, Bottom line is you want to get better and you want to make more money faster and easier so that you can afford freedom, right? I assure you that you've come to the right place and you'll be getting some serious value out of the material we've put together for you in this program. This program is jam packed with nothing but solid usable content that is easily learnable and can be implemented right away. It's full of gold nuggets that you can start using immediately and just those aha moments that'll really get you excited about getting to the next level. We're gonna share with you our exact word for word approaches for lead generation, you know, and all the what to say wins that'll help you handle specific objections, work with adjusters and handle objections in the closing process. You're gonna learn our word for word closing script that I use to close nearly 100% like nine out of 10 or more at the kitchen table, and it eliminates customers bid shopping. We're gonna show you, you know, the supplementing method that we use to boost claim sizes by up to 99% so that you can make more in commissions on each job and get more bang for your buck. You know, and we're gonna teach you our most effective adjuster negotiation methods and a ton of bonus material to make you criminally efficient in every area of the business. But I'd like to share with you a little bit about ourselves so that you know who we are. We're Trenton and Becca Switzer. Uh, Trent has over 10 years of experience teaching and training direct sales. And I was a top performing sales rep for uh, Cutco Knives of all things. And we spent several years chasing storms as roof salesmen. And now we currently own a roofing and home remodeling company in Missouri. And we've developed multiple million dollar producers in the storm restoration business. So we're really excited to share with you, you know, some of our experiences and lessons we learned along the way, because when we first got into selling roofs, it was extremely challenging and we had to overcome a lot of obstacles. So if we're able to teach you, you know, some things that can shorten your learning curve, 
we know that we can help you take your performance sales and your income to the next level. So how did we wind up in the storm restoration business? Because we didn't come from you know, construction backgrounds or anything even remotely close to roofing. So a few years ago, uh, we had both recently left our previous jobs at the same sales company, didn't really have any money saved, and didn't really know what we were going to do. So we definitely didn't want to be doing any nine to five type, you know, corporate desk job, making a miserable 32 grand a year for dental benefits. And an acquaintance introduced us to the storm restoration industry and told us we could make some good money doing it. He said it was like, quote, unquote, shooting fish in a barrel because people need new roofs, insurance pays for it, so it's practically a free product. All we had to do was show up, give them a free inspection, and basically collect checks. He said we'd easily be making six figures in less than a year. So we were like, okay, you want us to travel across the country like storm chasing gypsies and go door to door selling people roofs? Uh, do people really do that? Like, is that a real thing? Not too sure about that. So we were pretty skeptical to say the least. But our friend persisted and, you know, invite us to a couple team meetings, threw some money around by taking us to a few dinners and nights out on the town. So we did get a chance to see, you know, some of the money people were making in this business. Probably one of the smartest things our buddy did to recruit us was to mention that if we did well, we could take some time off during the winter when things slowed down. And it just so happens that snowboarding is one of our favorite things to do. We love to go out to Colorado in the winter and ride any chance we get. Unfortunately, it's a pretty expensive hobby and it kind of sucks when you only get a go for like one weekend out of the entire year. With that in mind, timing was good, so we decided to say, you know, what the hell and take the plunge. So we went into it with a mission to make 50 grand before winter rolled around. You know, we decided that if we could make 50 grand selling roofs our first year, we could call it a success and then we wanted to head to Colorado to snowboard. So we headed out to work at the very end of June, like beginning of July, after selling off almost everything we had on Craigslist <laughs> since A, we'd be traveling across the country and didn't want to haul a bunch of furniture with us, and B, we kind of needed the money. <laughs> so we traded Trent's Chrysler Sebring for a tiny little forest green Dodge Ram, rented that tiny trailer you see there, which contained basically everything we had left at that point. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there and then shipped my car on a semi 600 miles east. We packed what few belongings we had left in a few Rubbermaid containers and shipped off to a storm location in Pennsylvania. So we went out, rented the shittiest apartment ever, pretty much on our last dime since we hadn't been working for a couple months at this point. We had no money. We went around and picked up free furniture off the side of the road, <laughs> and we slept on a leaking air mattress that also served as our couch. We called it the bouch because it was our bed and our couch. Life was pretty swanky. So the storm had actually happened in April. So it was already several months old. And when we showed up in the neighborhood that we were sent to kind of work in, another roofing company had signs lining the entire street. Like virtually every yard had a sign in it. Our manager took us on one inspection on a roof that had like no damage at all. Like he was up there circling things and we were like, uh, what the fuck? That's like bird poop, I think. The adjuster ends up showing up like two hours early, denies it. <laughs> so our initial introduction into the storm restoration world was not exactly ideal. The whole, it was going to be like shooting fish in a barrel metaphor was turning out to be a bit of an exaggeration. So like most of you guys, I'm guessing, we received no formal training of any kind. Like the only training we got was hey, uh, go ride around with Chris here for a couple days and watch him knock a few doors. And then we watched our manager sign two deals for us and run one adjuster meeting, which got denied. Then we were basically tossed into the deep end to figure it out on our own. We were out knocking doors like for hours on end, every single day in the blistering heat, mostly getting you know doors shut in our face, being accused of being scam artists. Like we were busting our asses in the field from basically seven o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, six or seven days a week. Half the appointments we did line up, we lost because we had you know, to bullshit our way through the sales presentations and didn't really even know what to say like to get them signed. 
constantly getting objections like, thanks, but I think I'm just going to talk to my insurance company first. Or, you know, I, I'd like to gather some other estimates. Not to mention, do I look like a roofer to you? You guys, this was the car that I was driving. <laughs> I was a little 22-year-old female college dropout driving around with a telescoping ladder in a 2002 yellow Dodge Neon with a carbon fiber hood, chrome rims, and a smashed up body kit trying to convince people that I was an expert on roofs and to trust me to handle their insurance claim. <laughs> so, yeah. The most frustrating part about trying to figure out the roof cell stuff was that there was really no one to go to for help. And there are so many moving parts to roof sales. You know, you have to master the door knocking and the lead generation. You have to really understand insurance paperwork. You have to perfect your sales presentation so that you're closing deals and not wasting inspections. You need to know exactly how to negotiate with insurance adjusters. Like the list goes on and on. It's a ton to master. And trying to figure it all out on your own can get pretty frustrating, right? So here we are in Pennsylvania, hundreds of miles away from home, more or less living out of a suitcase, flopping around like fish out of water, trying to figure out how the hell to sell roofs. We weren't making any money. We were getting burnt out, just spending an enormous amount of energy, just trying our best. And we were just feeling super frustrated. And the only advice we were getting was, well, just get out there and just knock more doors. The secret is to just knock more doors. It's a numbers game. And we were like, Okay, if we're gonna do this, like we need to figure out a better way to do it because we cannot keep breaking our backs like continuing at this pace. But we couldn't afford not to make it work. You know, we had to figure it out and hit our goal where not only were we gonna, you know, miss out on our dream of snowboarding for a whole month instead of one rushed weekend, but additionally, we would basically be penniless. One of the only things that kept us around in the beginning was that we saw a few other people having success. You know, a few of those guys weren't necessarily the sharpest tools in the shed either, if you know what I'm saying. But we see one of the guys on our team get paid almost four grand on a single job. So obviously it was working for some people. We just had to figure out how to do it and what to say. Finally, one of the jobs we've been working on came through and we got a commission check for like 1500 bucks. And we were like, okay, so you can make money doing this. You know, if we did a hundred jobs just like that, I mean, you know, you guys can do the math. That's the type of income that could change our lives. Long story short, after a painful and costly learning curve, we really started figuring things out. You know, what works at the door, how to handle the objections, making sure that if we sat down with a customer, we were signing them on the spot. We went on to sell, build, and collect $650,000 in sales and earn like hundred and five dollars in four months. So we were averaging about $26,000 in income monthly. And then we pieced out and spent the entire winter and spring snowboarding. So we took like four or four and a half months or something like that completely off and uh, really enjoyed ourselves. And the following year, we came back and sold $1.25 million taking home like $240,000 in income in eight months, uh, earning about $30,000 a month at that point. So, you know, we were doing pretty well and uh, getting a pretty good return for our efforts, but we're definitely into seeking out, you know, new ways to improve, you know, because no matter how well you're doing, you can always do better, right? And we believe in investing in ourselves. So we started looking around, like scouring the internet for programs or people who were teaching sales techniques in this industry. And we found like nothing. <laughs> there was just nothing out there. Uh, you know, finally we came across like one or two people were putting some stuff out there and we looked into and attended, you know, everything we could find, which was pretty limited, you know, but we left pretty empty handed, you know, nothing really mind blowing or revolutionary that would have a major impact on our results. You know, like the other stuff that's out there gets you pumped up and, you know, you might leave with a couple good tips, but ultimately you go home without any tangible, actionable methods or techniques that you can really use right away. And after the inspiration wears off, you're left with a motivational hangover and you're right back to where you started. So it really got us thinking, 
you know, we recognize that there was a serious need in our industry for solid sales training that wasn't just conceptual or philosophical or temporarily inspiring, but was highly consumable and usable. We'd been sharing our, you know, approaches and scripts and strategies that worked exceptionally well for us with some of the other sales guys in our company. And they were getting such great results using, using the methods that we were sharing with them. They were like, you know, you guys should really teach this stuff. And we're like, you know what? We should teach this stuff because if we had anything like what we're sharing with these guys, when we got started, we could have saved ourselves from so much frustration, wasted time and energy. And not to mention, we would have made so much more money because the margin of error and the learning curve in this industry is freaking expensive. So we set out to put together all of our best techniques, you know, techniques that were actionable, learnable, and usable. Like that gritty, no holds barred, like juicy content that is jam packed with exactly what to say wins and direct step-by-step -step techniques and tactics that actually work and are repeatable and effective so that anyone could implement them and get results from them. You know, considering that industry-wide, the average claim is worth about 10 grand, every door you knock on that you don't line up, you're missing out on $10,000 in revenue and about $2,000 in income. So even small areas of improvement are really costly. Now, that being said, that's what's so exciting about, you know, learning the best methods and techniques in this business, because just the tiniest changes to one or two key areas has a tremendous impact on your overall results. You know, at 211 degrees, water is hot. At 212 degrees, water is boiling. The smallest changes can have an enormous impact across the board. In our industry, where large volumes of revenue are being generated, this couldn't be more true. For example, let's say your salesman selling about $500,000 annually right now. That means you're turning in about 50 jobs and you're earning roughly 75,000 off that. So let's say you're currently knocking about 10 doors to line up one appointment and your kitchen table closing ratio is 60%. That means that to get those 50 jobs, you're presenting to 83 people over the course of the year. To line up those 83 inspections, you're knocking like 830 doors. What would it look like if we made two small improvements in one or two areas by learning some new techniques? If we increase your success at the door by just 1%, so you're only knocking nine doors instead of 10 to line up one appointment, and we increase your closing ratio by 10%, so if you sit in front of 10 people, you're signing seven instead of six. Now you're lining up 92 inspections, closing 65 deals instead of 50, selling $650,000, and you're earning $97,500 without working any harder than you already are, knocking exactly the same amount of doors. This is exactly what we're doing with our Roof Sales Mastery Training, you guys. We're giving you our absolute best sales techniques, scripts, approaches, and methods in lead generation, objection handling, presenting and closing, adjuster negotiations, and claims maximization through supplementing so that you can make simple, small improvements in the areas you want better results in by just saying something a little differently at the door or on the adjuster meeting or during your presentation. That'll make all the difference so you can get better results faster and easier so you can work smarter, not harder, to make the income you want to make without sacrificing your lifestyle or your sanity for it. Because we know you work hard. You hustle and grind and we want you to get the absolute most out of the time and energy you're putting into it and be rewarded well for your sweat equity. So let's get started. <laughs>